Let's now have a look at the software image management. The image management functions, which is part of the control, the reliability and the daily operations, automates the upgrade process for the image software and patches. To better understand the matter and usefulness of uh, the image management, let's see why, what and when to use it. Why is the image management process so crucial? Think of, if you have many switches to manually upgrade one by one, it will take a long time during which you need to be dedicated to the upgrade, with all the risk of uh, human errors and fatigue that, that may involved. How does it work? The image management automates the whole upgrade process with upgrade planning, downloading and monitoring. What do you upgrade? It automates software image and patch upgrades such as the SMU, the uh, software maintenance upgrade, or RPM, the package manager, either for one switch or for a group of net Nexus switches or based on the rule of the device. For example, you can select the primary or secondary VPC device. It informs you with a notification and generates automatic uh, reports with uh, the impact of the upgrade. You run the image upgrade and install uh, a software patch on demand. That's it. But there are several steps in order to well prepare the upgrade process that you can run upwards whenever you want. And make sure that when you run the uh, final software image upgrade, all elements have been validated with success. This demo shows you how NDFC can simplify a software image upgrade. First of all, NDFC discovers all the switches onboarded in your fabrics and provides you the uh, current software versions associated with each device. Then, if not already done, you need to download the image of interest from uh, the Cisco software uh, download portal. Step one, you need to upload the new image file into your NDFC repository used for the software image management. Then you need to create uh, an image management policy, which has the information of uh, your intent with an XOS image along with uh, RPMs or SMUs. The policy can belong to a specific platforms and based on the policy applied on the switch, NDFC checks if there is any mismatch between the policy and the image on the switch and a fabric warning uh, is generated. Then you need to attach the image policy to the switch after attaching the image policy to the switch, you need to stage the image. When you stage the image, the files are copied into the boot flash of the target uh, switch. Optionally, you can validate if the switch uh, support a non-disruptive uh, upgrade and uh, NDFC will perform uh, a compatibility check. You can also create a report that will provide details about the switches and the pre-ISSU and post-ISSU statement. And when ready, you can deploy the upgrade either immediately or later. Now let's go for the demo. This video covers the image management procedure to upgrade one or multiple switches from one or multiple fabrics. From the end side, expand the operations drop down menu and select the image management sections. And you can quickly retrieve the different type of switches with their reachability information as well as their current software versions. You can use the filter to refine the search if needed. Secondly, you need to upload the image software you wish to upload to the switches. Select the image tab and upload the image. You can browse your folder or you can drag and drop the file directly in this space. When uploaded, the file is verified. You need to create the policies that describe your intent with the NXOS image along with RPM or RSU. You can select the package that contains RPM or SMU if needed, and you save. Return to the overview to select the switch to upgrade. For this demo, we select two switches running 10.1.1, and you attach the policy you just created to them.
as the consequence, the compliance informed that the switches are out of sync and the state of the image is success. You can create a report if you wish for the pre-ISSU or post-ISSU. Select the template of choice and generate a report. The report informs you about the switches and uh, above all the status of the upgrade passed here. This done, you can safely stage the image, meaning pushing the image to the switches. If you want, you can check the boot flash, delete the file if needed. You can check the image to stage and you can start the process. You are informed about the staging, green or red. Now the image being stored in the boot flash of the switch. You can, if you wish, validate the image. You can also check if it's a disruptive or non-disruptive upgrade. You are informed about the status. In our case, the status is green. So you can proceed now or later to the upgrade step, which may take some time. As you can see, the two switches have been upgraded to 10.2.2. Now let's talk about RMA, the Return Material Authorizations. So this is another crucial process that uh, NDFC can automate using two approaches. Either you can leverage POAP for a zero touch process, or you can go through a very simple manual RMA. To use the POAP uh, RMA flow, you need first to configure the bootstrap parameters from the fabric settings. The key difference is that POAP will automatically send the new config file during the boot process of the switch. Hence, for this POAP, NDFC runs the DHCP server functions. While on the other hand, the manual process requires you to boot the switch without a DHCP server, uh, you just have to pre-configure the management reachability information for the out-of-band management, so the IP address, including the host name manually. When done, NDFC will rediscover the switch and will resync the switch to get the expected configuration automatically. Remember the uh, config compliant process. Navigate to the Fabric Overview window and select the Switch tab. Identify and select the node you wish to replace from the Action drop-down menu. Change the mode of the switch to Maintenance. After a few seconds, the system is set to Maintenance mode. You can then disconnect it and replace it with a new device. The device must be replaced with the same model of switch, the same ASIC and the same physical ports. In a POAP mode, you can provision the RMA without touching the device configuration. That means that the NDFC is listening for DHCP request for the new hardware. The new device will appear after it has been powered on. Just set the admin password, validate the device to replace and proceed to the swap. The device will be auto-provisioned with the exact same configuration. It will take uh, about uh, 15 to 20 minutes to be fully configured. So depending how long uh, is the initial configuration and the reboot of the switch. And uh, during this process with a VPC pair, the traffic will not be interrupted. When ready, you can move the device back to the operational mode. In this module four, you have seen how NDFC can help you to automate the insertion of service nodes like uh, the firewall into a VXLAN uh, eVPN fabric. You saw the policy manager, which is the brain of NDFC, which relies on several policy templates to automate different deployments of the fabric, the networks, uh, the interfaces, the service node, etc. 
We discussed about uh, the freeform policy to allow the end user to push any CLI configuration to be in sync with uh, the NDFC database. You don't have to know anything about uh, Python programming, but if you wish, you can uh, customize and create your own policy templates, giving you a huge flexibility to automate your own requirements. We discussed about how deployments and operations using NDFC can be so reliable. Uh, and to answer that question, we covered the uh, config compliant process that monitors the running configuration of all devices uh, to compare it with the NDFC database and alarms you in real time for any changes that happens in the switch. And then you can remediate to that change in uh, one click. We talk about the image uh, software and patch upgrades and that you can automate and schedule at any time. And finally, NDFC embeds a functions to automate the replacement of the switch with zero downtime. That concludes module four. Thank you for watching.